so uh, so far we have discussed about uh, different considerations which affect the highway alignment so there are some points which needs to be further extended so basically this highway alignment and survey this is very much important okay so because for any highway construction the main end and foremost work is to lay out the alignment okay so for this laying out of the alignment different types of surface are required which we will discuss in the next class now uh, before completing uh, this class let us further uh, discuss some of the topic which i think is needs to be stressed okay so first one is in the other consideration there is one condition that that is drainage consideration so uh, 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 let us look into this matter that how drainage condition affect the alignment so basically uh, whenever a road is constructed okay in that case you need to provide some drain okay that is side drain so if there is any side drain in that case it is not a problem if the alignment is horizontal okay straight or it has some horizontal curves in that case the side drainage will not impact the alignment but the problem is with the cross drainage work cross drainage work means suppose some small stream of water is there which are crossing the path so in such cases we always need to avoid such cross drainage work so why this cross drainage work needs to be avoided because that if the we pass uh, along the passage of water through this road in that case it will damage the uh, your uh, structural portion of the road okay now numerous hillside uh, drains should be provided for adequate drainage facility across the road now, but the cross drainage structure it is costly also because for the uh, cross drainage structure you need to provide uh, in some cases bridge in some cases some small culverts and other other things so attempts should be made to align the road in such a way where the number of cross drainage structure is minimum okay then uh, that political pressure so basically political pressure is a huge thing because in uh, some cases what happens whenever a newly constructed road is developed in some area in that case the land value of that area is always increased so in such cases some political pressure may be employed uh, upon uh, the engineer th uh, so that that road may be deviated from its original position and it may go through some lands which is owned by him or her okay that is some political pressure and monotony that is already i discussed that is the continuity okay boringness which is uh, uh, found out by continuity of the road okay suppose a road is straight in that case if the driver uh, doesn't have to do any work so he simply uh, uh, simply just uh, just uh, put his hand on the wheelbase in that case what will happen he doesn't have to do any work because the road is straight and there is no disturbance in that case he will feel asleep so in such cases some uh, disturbance to the road in terms of some horizontal in curve in uh, in terms of some uh, alignment or in terms of some uh, other disturbance okay should be provided over there so that that monotonous effect should be minimized and the driver got alerted in each and every instance of the time okay then stability uh, that is the stability of the slope then drainage conditions which we have discussed already then geometric standards so uh, there are different geometric standards which are associated with the hill road construction we will discuss uh, this in details in the geometric design chapter 
then resisting length that resisting length is the ineffective rise and excessive fall should be minimum okay so basically the resisting length of a road may be calculated from the total work to be done to move the loads along the road taking the horizontal length the actual difference in levels between the two stations and the sum of ineffective rise and fall in excess of floating gradient so in brief the resisting length of the alignment should be kept as low as possible thus the ineffective rise and executive fall should be kept minimum okay so uh, this is the uh, end of this class so in the next class we will discuss about the different surveys which are associated with the highway alignment